Hello, in this video on mastering your tools, I'll show you how you can master the Conform tool in 3ds Max. But real quick guys, if you're looking for what I consider to be the best 3D modeling tutorial on the internet, I recommend checking out my Udemy course. It's got tutorials on Blender, 3ds Max, CAD programs such as Plasticity and Moai 3D, and a lot of ZBrush as well. So if you want to master a variety of programs to really bring your skills up to the next level and master 3ds Max, Blender, ZBrush, and Plasticity, be sure to check out that course, link is in the description. Let's continue. So let me start with the sphere. And then let me go here and quickly create some sort of pattern using a plane. All right, so now I will take this, I'll use the clear text script or select in place to put that on the surface and you can now rotate it as well. All right, so now I will go into freeform I will switch to some grid to surface and then pick this as the surface. Here you have your offset value. So if you change it to be one, for example, then you click on conform and you begin to conform. And we just left click here. And what you notice is that it has been conformed to the surface. All right. So this is with an offset of one. And it's going to be a little bit further away. And you'll also notice, so there's two problems here. Number one, it may not be hugging the surface as we want it to be. And number two, it's very, it's very angular here. And that's because the power of conform depends on how smooth the surface is. So because the surface is angular, this will also be angular. So what we can do is actually activate turbo smooth or increase the number of segments here. All right, now let's apply conform again. And what you'll notice now is that it's much smoother than it was before. In fact, let's do it on a new Adapel modifier so we can compare. All right, so this is after making the sphere smooth and this is before. Before, very angular, after, very smooth. So make sure that your underlying surface is smooth. However, another issue is that the offset is still one and if you do want it to hug, we can simply right click on this to make it zero and then reconform this. As you can see, it is now hugging the surface. So when we activate conform, we've got several options here. We've got full strength, we've got fall off and conform. And actually the actual strength value is under conform. The full strength is just the size. So if you hold down, if you hover over this, you get information. So it says, hold down shift and drag to change that. So if you hold down shift and then left click and hold, you will change the full strength. This is where the full strength is taking place. If you hold down control and drag, you will change the fall off value. All right, in most situations, I just can have this, both of them just set at maximum here because it's, I just want to confirm everything here. All right, so the conform value is just a strength. So for example, this is 0 0.001. And as you can see, it barely conforms, very weak. If it's like, a, I don't know, a thousand, then it just conforms instantly. We also have this value right here, which is mirror. So, if you have a mirrored object, let's see if we can set that up. Let's create a plane. Let's shift A that right here. And let's maybe rotate that. And let's increase this. All right, so now I'm going to use conform and I'm getting this, but if I turn on mirror, it's going to conform on both sides. We also have this use of value here, which is vertex normals, which can be switched to view. So if you're trying to conform, you get strange results, like a little wildness here. It may be better to change that from vertex normals to view, and you may get better results in many situations. But you will have to kind of change your view and then kind of conform step by step and you get a much better result. Just be aware that the default value of vertex normals may not be the best in all situations. We also have more options here, such as the strength percentage, which to me seems to be very similar to conform. So for example, if conform is set to a high value and the strength is set to just one, it still conforms very quickly. So I'm not quite sure why there's two distinct values there because they seem to be doing the same thing. So we have the mirror axis. If we're using mirror across the X, Y, or Z, the freeze axis across which axis is frozen, it says when on the tool is prevented from moving sub objects on the object's local x axis. So this is if you want to limit the effect, 
and also if you want to freeze selected edges. We also have view select vertices, which is very useful because sometimes you just want to only affect certain selected vertices. And we also have ignore back facing when you don't want to touch something on the other side. So let's get an example of when you want to limit vertices. Let's say, for example, you create a cylinder. And let me just change some of these values. All right. And then I will just uh, place that on here. All right, let's say you want the outward facing side of the cylinder to be flat, but you want these inner vertices to be conformed to the surface. Well, this is a perfect situation where you want to use that. So you select these vertices and let's activate conform. Let's see what happens before that. So if we just use conform and we do that, it's all going to flatten out. All right, so now let's activate use select vertices. Well, now nothing is happening because there are no select vertices. So we're going to right click to exit out of conform, select those vertices. We'll change our view to right here and we'll activate conform. All right, so right now we're using vertex normals. And so if we left click now, you will notice that the vertices kind of go off base a little bit. So if you zoom in closely, you may not get all the vertices. So you don't have to always change the size. You can just, just zoom out. And as you can see, the, uh, the size remains the same. So if you zoom out, you get everything. So what you'll notice here is when I left click, these vertices on the edges kind of going off. So let's change the second mode view as you notice that gives us a much better result so now guys we've got what we want we have the outward faces and the vertices being still flat but the inward ones are conformed to the sphere all right let's create for example a, a wavy plane so i'll just kind of move that up and i'm going to turbo smooth this all right i'll move this on here All right, let me just kind of move that above that. I will now select this object and make that the uh, the currently selected one. So just left click on your current object and left click what you want the new one to be. And we're going to conform. Nothing is happening because there's no selected vertices. So we can actually turn that option off. And there we go, guys. As you notice, we get some sort of wobbliness right here. So let's undo that. Let's see if we can fix that wobbliness. So one problem is that doing things gradually can cause problems. For example, if I left click on this and then that and then this, you can see how we're getting a lot of strangers here. But if we just zoom out and do it in a single click, we get much better results. So often the best choice is just to kind of zoom out and get it all in one click. As you can see, this can be used to create really cool effects where you're conforming complex patterns on complex curved surfaces to get really cool things happening here. So another example is what you can do to conform certain details on surfaces. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of create a little, little detail real quick here, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift to clone this out. So I'm gonna create a little detail right here. All right, so I've got this little detail. I'm going to surround, delete the surrounding part. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and press Shift A to move that right there. And what I'm going to do is I'll make this more complex. And then I can select this and use Skin Wrap on this. So I'll click on Skin Wrap, Weight All Points, Add, and then add this right here. 
I can, for example, move this on this surface, scale. I can, for example, uh, maybe turn off Turbo Smooth later on afterwards. But first, I'm just going to apply a poly on top and I'm going to make sure this is set as the conform object and I'm going to conform that on top. Now we'll click on this object, we'll collapse the skin wrap, but we can delete this other object. As you can see, this detail is now conformed to the surface. So now we can do is set this to be a good value here. And we can go in here and attach these objects together. So as you can see guys, conform is a wonderful tool that can be used in many creative ways. I've only show you a fraction of all the things you can do with conform. If you have more ideas, please post them in the comments and perhaps I'll make a follow-up video. So share with me all the fun ways that you use conform. Thank you for watching and take care. Thank you.